The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, that's where you are, Lewis. 100 South Broad Street, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Another all-night session for me, folks. Couldn't help it. Folks, we're looking at the Treasury note chart going back the last three and a half years. You can see the 382 retracements. You can see the expansion where we're sitting right now. You can see that little red box there. We're six pips away from that little red box, boys and girls. And the old cowboy's got his order in to buy right. Uh oh, I think it just hit. Time out. We got to take a look at it. We got to be really close. Not yet, but oh, there's uh, the old stop and pee just uh, got hit here. There's what we wanted to see. Shut the front door and raise a rent. That's a good one. Hold on just a minute here, boys and girls. I got to do a little something here. We're only uh, six ticks away in the uh, – wow, this thing is – this is uh, – we got a Katui going here, boys and girls. That's where the market goes up and they come down. I don't know what's going to happen, but we got Mr. Bost is going to be in the house here at the half-hour break and tell us if uh, we're going to go lower, higher, whatever we're going. We're going to pay attention to it. Okay, now let's uh, focus on this Treasury note, folks. Basically, what you're looking at here is, wow, this thing is just, oh, God, I love this business sometimes. Hold on just a second. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm looking at. To give you a heads up what's been happening today, we've been watching and waiting for this for quite some time. Whether this is it or not, I don't know. All I know is this chart that you're looking at here in the notes is big, folks. This is the largest of all the commodities that we trade. OK, and not only that, but if you pay attention to it really closely, you know, it's six times bigger than anything else. I mean, that is really big. Now, I haven't seen a pattern like this for a very, very, very long time. And I'm going to show it to you right here. I don't know if it's going to do the same thing, uh, that the two different things. But let's just take a quick look at it here. And this is going to be where we were on March the 5th of 2009. And we're going to get this up here. One thing we know for sure, there are not two people on this planet that are bullish notes and bonds. Zero, none. I'm the only one, and I'm going to be buying it at um, uh, 109.11. You see a little red box there. But anyway, this was the stock market. March 5th, 2009, I mean, nobody was interested in stocks at all. And I, this is when I was first with TFNN starting in 07. I said this would be the largest rally since 1938. And uh, it, it rallied, and it, it's still rallying. <laughs> anyway, uh, watch this chart. This is a really low risk, boys and girls. This is widows and orphans time. It really is. I mean, if you buy the, buy the note around 11, I think the number is 9. I'm going to give it a tick to get in. And I'm going to put a 10, 10 pip stop on it. That's $160. If it's right, it's going to make a lot of money because there's, there's people out there that are flat out scared to death. I mean, that, and they should be. And you know what? I'm scared too. Folks, when we got news like we had last night with the British pound, and, that, and this is why it's so important to be able to read the news because when the market – doesn't react. Let me just get this up here to show you what we were looking at here in the British pound here because we were short the British pound. And when the news came out last night, I said, look, this thing is not acting very bearish. It's going to rally. And that's exactly right. We put our stop. We had sold it right there up there at the 78 percent level. And we covered it right there, which well over a thousand dollars. It went exactly to the 61 percent retracement. Folks, you can't make these numbers up. You know, give me a break. I mean, unbelievable. Just hard to believe. Okay, let's move on here for a second. I might have to go in and out here today, folks, because I have orders setting in there, and I want to be sure that when they come up that I'm able to see, you know, what they're doing, and they're coming down to exactly where I was hoping they would come to. But bear with me here just a little bit. I'm only five pips away now from the order in the uh, son of a gun, so let's just uh, wait and see how it acts. Okay, now back to the method that I'm trying to get across here. We had an absolute 
perfect Gartley here last night, folks. I sent this out. You couldn't have, you couldn't have made this up. I mean, this was – I keep saying that, but it's true. You can't make it up. We always like – you know what? Okay, little Johnny's raising his hand. He's clapping and everything. Look at this, folks. This market went exactly to the 382 retracement, not, not 10 cents more, to exactly. And that's a contract that's worth 160 some thousand dollars. It then backed all the way off to the 61% retracement, giving it $1,100 profit. Okay, then it went up and made it right up here, not quite to the 50% level, and then it's coming back down again. Folks, we are in, I don't know what's going to happen next, but we're living in interesting times. You realize that Dow Jones was up 350 points just a little while ago, and now it's down on the day? That's that's not a that's not bullish action, you know. It really isn't. And if you like bullish action, and since we're talking about that, I wanted to get this up here and show you what I was looking at today when I was watching this stock market, because it had a beautiful one three five pattern that we like to see, and uh, it was just you'll see it when you see the. Uh, uh, I'll post it. You'll be able to see the down sloping trend line. There's your beautiful one three five pattern right here. By the way, folks, I am in the process of getting a telegram, telegram uh, account set up, private telegram channel for my folks at 24-7 and my students. And I'm going to be able to send these puppies out to you instantaneously. I'm going to be very quick. Uh, you know what I mean? Very, very fast. Uh, and uh, I think it's going to work out okay. I have to work it out with TFNN to make sure we get the billing and everything straight. And uh, But uh, I think we can get these out here really quickly, and that will make it a lot easier for some of us to see some of these patterns instead of getting a little bit too late. I can't make any promises yet, and please don't send me an email saying, please include me, okay? You'll be included, but just because I'm going to do it probably a few weeks for free. But uh, what we want to do is we want to be able, be able to sure I get it set up. I'm going to be setting it up on Sunday afternoon with a gentleman in Australia that I work with, and uh, he says we'll be able to do it without uh, too much trouble. And so hopefully too much trouble means not a whole lot of trouble. So let's see how things go here. Uh, for today. Now, if all is correct, we should be ready to bounce uh, just about right now in the stock market, and that's exactly what we've had happen so far. <clears throat> We're going to find out if we have much more of a bounce here very, very shortly, because anything making new lows now after uh, the projected low would not be a uh, would not be a very, very good sign. So. We want to remind ourselves of that as we look through here. Hold on, I've got a, I've got a change. A, wow, it came really close. My goodness, they only missed me by, they only missed me by four pips. Don't do that to me, please. I'm trying to buy these treasury notes, folks. Uh, treasury bonds are still going lower. I haven't even looked at them. I won't look at the treasury bonds because I'm focusing on the notes. Uh, I know it's it's not as active as the bonds, but it's a bigger market. And when it moves and, it, and when they do catch a short covering rally here, folks, they will not take any prisoners. I can promise you that. Those things will – and this, it, it, all it's going to be is a short covering rally, but it could be a big one. So uh, watch those notes really close. This is mother. This is when you go to the Mother Teresa's orphanage and say, "Okay, here's where you want to put the Sunday, uh, where you want to put your Sunday best in here." And you put a couple bucks in here because it may not work, but the risk reward ratio on this could be, you know, it's being like uh, having a lottery ticket. And you got three of the numbers that someone gave you ahead of time. If you can believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Kenny Kegstad has just announced a live webinar coming up for subscribers to his newsletter, The Tiger Forex Report. Wednesday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy will be hosting a live 60-minute webinar, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report Newsletter. In this 60-minute webinar, Teddy will be discussing a full breakdown of the markets that influence currency pairs, as well as applying those variables to individual currency pairs, how to evaluate trading scenarios for risk versus reward, as well as a live question and answer session. Sign up now and gain instant access to this live webinar coming up, as well as a month subscription to Teddy's Tiger Forex Report, which comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this live webinar event with Teddy Kegstat, Wednesday, October 26th. Sign up now for the Tiger Forex Report at the front page of TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart, a uh, four-hour chart of the S&P that we've been watching. You'll notice uh, the 382 that we made with the ABCD pattern up there at 3802. Uh, we're now below that. You'll see the high today was exactly at the 78% um, retracement of that 382 high. And you'll notice that the low today was exactly at a 382 of the low going all the way back to Sunday night. So there's a lot of things going on in these markets, and believe me, they are just beginning to go. So let's pay close attention to it. The notes are still making new lows. We're now at 109.15. We're now looking for 109.11. We're only four pips away there. And uh, whether we get there or not uh, remains to be seen. But believe me, folks, I've had palpitations about putting this trade on, even though it only has a $200 risk. I'm saying, oh, my gosh, what if it collapses? And then I realized, oh, I have a stop in there, so it won't make any difference. So something big is happening out there, folks. I've been saying that for a very long time. I don't think it was this thing with London either. I think it's something a whole lot bigger than that. And it may or may not happen. But all I'm saying is, gee whiz, get ready, because when you've got – look what dotes are down 17 weeks in a row, folks. Do you want to know how many times that's happened? Johnny's back there with a big circle like this. It says zero. By golly, Johnny, you're right. And uh, that is uh, what we call a definition of an oversold market. It happens to be the largest of all the commodity markets that we trade, well over $7 million open interest as opposed to 2.4 million in the e-mini S&P that everybody loves to trade. So uh, that's going to be a really big one. And it is an asset class, folks. It used to be one of the premier asset classes, but uh, it's not right now. Remember, just about two years ago, they were feeding us tapioca and telling us how wonderful negative interest rates were going to be for us because all we had to do was turn our money over to someone and they would not guarantee that you would get it back. Plus, they were going to charge you for holding the money. Boy, was that a good deal. 
Holy cow, you didn't have to go to Harvard to figure that one out, did you? Shut the front door and raise the rent. Okay, now let's move on to another one regarding that gold. We got a really nice uh, feedback from some of our friends today, especially Jeff over there in New Jersey. And he put up his Picasso special here today where he was looking to sell the gold. And we'll get it up here. You see the beautiful three drive to a top pattern right at the 50% level after previously going to the 382 and backing off $1,100. But that's what it's done. Uh, this last is a 15-minute chart. There was your first 382 right here. You backed off, went up to the 50%, and now you've already come all the way down, down here uh, today. So these are some of the things that we're paying a close attention to. But nothing any more important than what we're watching here, folks, in the market of the Treasury notes and we're still, we just made a new low at uh, 109.15. And, uh, oh, my goodness, it was an uptick, for heaven's sakes. I wonder what caused that. We're going to be watching it very closely here, folks, because this is, a, this is one of these trades where you've got everything going for you as far as pattern and risk control. And, folks, you, you realize I have not put a buy order in notes and bonds in 17, well, at least in notes in 17 weeks because it's just been straight down. This is the first time we have a reason to possibly, uh, you know, hang on. And that reason is we're right at a 1.618 expansion on the weekly. So that number is comes in at 109.10. And uh, all you got to do is put your stop in at 109.01, and that's going to risk 11 ticks. 160 bucks a tick, uh, excuse me, $16 a tick. It's going to cost you less than $200 to see if you're right on this particular one. So that's what we're watching. I hope, uh, you know, we may or may not get a fill in today. It's still a little bit early, of course, but uh, we'll be watching it uh, as we listen to, talk to uh, Mr. Uh, Tim Bost uh, talk to us about the things that he talked about way back in September and outlined what is happening right now. So we're going to find out what that map is when he comes up to us uh, at the break. Uh, tomorrow, I may or may not be here. It depends. I have a, a very dear friend. Many of you that know me know Eddie Horowitz, and Eddie is in really serious shape. Uh, he's happy. He's content, but uh, he's fading very, very fast. He doesn't recognize me. But uh, I've got to see him. He was he was one of one of my very very dearest friends. Uh, he and I and Peter Lydes used to hang out quite a bit uh, back in the old days when they had covered wagons in the Los Angeles area. So that's uh, hopefully that if I have to go, I'm going to leave early in the morning to go up to Seattle and uh, spend the day with him. So we'll do uh, one thing at a time uh, from that level. Getting back um, to the stock market, folks. We did complete at that level that with that 382 pattern that I posted up there. That was a 382. Now, if we start to fail from there, and I mean, you'd have to come down really hard uh, in order to get this thing moving because, you know, we have the solar eclipse, excuse me, it's a lunar eclipse coming up tomorrow. And uh, T uh, Tim Boss will be talking to us about that because sometime between here, this level right here, and I believe into the early November areas, what he was looking for as a uh, potential low and uh, he's nailed these things uh, pretty spot on so we certainly want to listen to what what Tim has uh, what Tim has to say okay now I wanted to share with you someone had a question about uh, one other chart and that was about the uh, the euro let me get it up here in just a minute if I can find the doggone thing yeah here it is hold on just a second this is the long-term uh, projection that we're looking at uh, in the euro. We'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. We think the euro is going to go back to where it was in 2000, and that was right around 85. So that's where we're, we believe the euro will eventually get to. Now, whether it does it on this run or not, that I don't know, but that's a long-term weekly, and that's where we should be going. As far as the British pound, I'm surprised it had an uptick today, folks, but it rallied 70 pips after that uh, news came out. I mean, never, you know, <laughs> there was a perfect example of the news was extremely bearish, but the market didn't act like it. So you've got to pay attention to those, folks. In, in order to get a grasp of what that really means, you've got to read the book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. It's the story of Jesse Livermore. 
where Larry Livingston is really Jesse Livermore, and he tells about his trading and all his experiences, and there's all kinds of them in there about good news, bad action, bad action, good news, and boy, you got to pay attention to that, because when you see it, wow, it really means a lot, and that's why you've got to pay attention to uh, you know, how the market reacts to the news, not what the action is, but how it reacts to the news, because if it's really, really bad news and the market goes up, shut the front door. 1987, to make a point, 1,600 issues on the New York Stock Exchange. Three, 13 issues were up that day, okay? Those 13 issues didn't go down for six or seven years. That's how bullish it was. So anyway, that's the kind of thing that you want to pay attention to. And we had that today going on with what was going on, uh, you know, with the, with the British pound. So that's what we're paying attention to. We're going to have Tim Boss coming up. And uh, we're only three ticks away now, folks, from the old uh, Treasury notes. Will be he get the lottery ticket or not? The jury is out. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we have Tim Boss on the line, Financial Cycles Weekly, who gave us a little bit of information way back in uh, September the 28th. We're probably heading down, Tim. 
you're only as good as the restaurant business here, my friend. So what's on the meal today? We got day old sushi today, my friend. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> That's not my favorite. Speaking of the restaurant business, right? <laughs> I know. Uh, what we've got coming up here is a couple of events that we definitely need to be aware of as we uh, move into the closing days of October and the first uh, days of, uh, of November here. Uh, we've got two eclipses uh, coming up. And it Eclipses are very, very important in our market calculations. Uh, they're both occurring in Scorpio, which adds some extra intensity uh, to the, the picture a little bit here. And so uh, that's what we're paying attention uh, to here. Uh, we've got a solar eclipse coming up next week, in fact, on uh, Tuesday the 25th of oh, uh, October. And so this is going to be a significant uh, 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 factor in, in our market calculations here. And then two weeks after that, we have a lunar eclipse uh, on November the 8th at uh, uh -oh. 16 degrees of Scorpio. And so that's, that, and that's, and that's election day. That's election day. And as you recall from our work recently with the Mercury retrograde cycle, uh, this will also be the superior conjunction, the Sun Moon. Uh, Sun Mercury uh, conjunction uh, that same day that ends that full retrograde cycle. So it's a super duper powerful day. Of uh, course, all lunar eclipses occur at full moons as well. This will be a blood moon. And so you can kind of stack all the stuff on that. We'll talk about that a little bit closer to that day. Let's focus on the solar eclipse uh, today because we will take one thing at a time. But uh, we, we want to be aware of this uh, impact uh, kind of a one-two punch uh, between the solar eclipse uh, coming up next week and the lunar eclipse uh, on election day. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have to uh, uh, play with that one a, a little bit more detail. Uh, the, the main point here that we want to make is the eclipses move markets. Uh, and this is one of the most powerful dynamics that we look at uh, with financial astrology. Uh, because they tend to shape uh, global events uh, in, uh, from a geopolitical perspective, as well as uh, from uh, the perspective of uh, uh, economics and, and uh, certainly market movements as, as a, a part of that. So that's why we're interested in, in taking a look at them. Uh, the markets don't always turn right on the date of an eclipse. But we see lots of residual effects along the way and lots to talk about with eclipses. Uh, now, this particular eclipse we mentioned is coming up here uh, next Tuesday. Uh, this is what the astrological chart looks like here uh, for it. Uh, and uh, we've circled uh, over on the left there the, the moon uh, and the, the sun and uh, Venus. Uh, in fact, uh, this uh, uh, is a new moon uh, chart. Uh, every solar eclipse occurs at a new moon. Not every new moon is a solar eclipse, but every solar eclipse is also a new moon. Uh, and in this case, it's uh, conjoining Venus, uh, which adds uh, an additional dimension to it. And it's forming a square to a trans-Neptunian uh, factor here, uh, Volcanus, which is representative of uh, uh, irresistible force, executive uh, decision-making, uh, things uh, kind of pushing through uh, beyond limits. Uh, in the classical godfather phrase, this is the offer you can't refuse, <laughs> uh, kind of coming up uh, with, with this dynamic. So it's a very, very powerful configuration. Now, uh, whenever we have an eclipse, uh, it's a, uh, kind of in the popular awareness, it's always a question of uh, uh, is, how rare an event is this. And, and in fact, we get solar eclipses at least twice a year, uh, but they are seen in different parts of the world. And what we have here is a map uh, showing in that colored area uh, throughout most of, of Europe and the Middle East, uh, Northern Africa, a little bit of, of uh, western part of Asia, uh, the Indian uh, subcontinent. Uh, all of this will be the area where the eclipse will have some level of visibility. This is a partial eclipse. It won't totally blot out the sun. Uh, but we're going to be focusing on this part of the world. And there's all kinds of tension going on there already. Uh, so we're going to be watching those developments here uh, in the coming weeks uh, particularly from a geopolitical perspective. But of course, we're looking at things from the market perspective uh, as well. Uh, we also like to look at our, our uh, 90 degree dial analysis. And in this case, uh, we, this is the same astrological chart presented in a little different format. Uh, the red pointer at the left points to the position of the uh, eclipse. And what we're looking at with these horizontal lines or, or, or perpendicular lines across the, uh, the wheel there are, are representative of midpoint structures. And we can get a little picture of the overall flavor 
of what we're looking at with this eclipse. Uh, the Saturn Kronos midpoint gets activated, suggesting big delays, obstacles, uh, things kind of getting in the way of progress. Uh, then the actions of uh, people in, in uh, leadership positions, uh, whether we're talking about national leaders, CEOs, what have you, uh, tend to get uh, resisted and, and stifled and impeded in one way or another, uh, as well as uh, losses uh, with the, uh, uh, the authorities. And sometimes there's an act of, uh, of, of retribution. The, the authorities turn against the people, so to speak, uh, with that kind of configuration. And then as well, we have uh, the Jupiter at Metos uh, midpoint. Uh, Metos is another of the trans-Neptunian factors. Uh, the, uh, and Jupiter is all about uh, good things happening. Uh, Metos kind of puts the brakes on in a very aggressive way. So uh, the, your good luck kind of runs out <laughs> with this uh, configuration. Uh, and uh, the, there's not enough to go around. Uh, and uh, uh, sometimes we, we have to kind of compromise with this, this kind of situation and say, well, uh, you know, what I've got is enough. And uh, we'll have to be satisfied with that. So uh, in terms of <laughs> market speculation, <laughs> I, ha I haven't met anybody like that yet, but go ahead. Oh, oh okay. who's satisfied? <laughs> Not in this forum anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what, what motivates traders. We always want to uh, come out on the winning side and figure out how we can get a little bit more out of the deal along the way. Uh, so uh, we've done a lot of backtesting and study of eclipses over the years. Uh, and in fact, we're preparing some uh, detailed information on this one. We'll be presenting that in a special training session on uh, this Saturday. Uh, and so uh, what we're looking at here is a backtesting chart just for solar eclipses that have occurred in Scorpio. And so we get eclipses all over the zodiac at different times. But what is typical here is that we see uh, a, a bit of a dip around the time of the eclipse, that zero point. Uh, in the middle of the chart indicates the date of the eclipse, which in this case will be next Tuesday, and we expect a rebound uh, after that. So in terms of the, the longer term perspective, uh, we're looking at a move to the upside, and if you'll note there about halfway between the, the 10 and the 20 on that chart, that's about 14 days out, that's when we'll get that lunar eclipse. Uh, and so we're anticipating a, a, a bit of a pullback uh, at the time of the lunar eclipse. Again, kind of uh, jumping ahead of, of, of the schedule there a little bit. Uh, but uh, we do have the potential, I believe, for a swing to the upside coming out of the solar eclipse uh, based on this analysis of the S&P. And it's not unusual to see uh, a dip in the markets around the time of the eclipse, especially with those uh, individual equities that are strongly impacted that. So, uh, you know, we're looking uh, at uh, uh, individual uh, 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 stock charts uh, where the, the trading began uh, in, the, in the final days of October, around October 25th, 26th uh, uh, time frame. Uh, those are, are more likely to get hit more severely uh, with this kind of configuration. Wow, that's really an interesting chart. Boy, these have been spot on recently. Uh, I mean, Tim, are you just on a real hot streak, or is this normal what you go through? I mean, because you haven't had any of these have been uh, have just literally been spot on over the last several months. Oh well, you know what? Yeah, you, I, I you don't know my, if it's a hot you streak. Took, you, know. <laughs> you took my you course in astrology <laughs> during that time. I remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's been interesting here because, uh, you know, we were here locally impacted by the hurricane and it took us out of commission yeah. for a while, but we're getting our, our, our juice back up. Okay, we're going to pay, pay a few bills. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, chatting with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, you want to tell us about the uh, solar eclipse where you want to be bullish from the 25th of October through November the 8th? Yeah, and we're talking about a bullish bias here. Things are not going to go straight up, at least not. <laughs> I don't believe so. Uh, so so we could, could see a, a little bit of seesaw effect here, a little bit of consolidation along the way. Uh, but I think we do have the predominance of, of this uh, a bullish trend. I mentioned a moment ago before the break, uh, we're talking about individual equities. Uh, and if we find stocks that uh, have a strong impact from this solar eclipse, uh, what we found over, over the past few years and, and uh, working with eclipses in our trading strategy uh, is that we, if we put on a long position right around the time of the eclipse, typically there's a pullback in prices with stocks that have a strong link uh, to that particular eclipse. And here we're looking with stocks that have uh, a sun and their first trade charts at around the two degree Scorpio mark. We'll say from zero degrees to four degrees, you know, give, give it a, a degree or two range there. Uh, but then as we identify those, uh, we put on a long Long position uh, uh, right around the time of the the eclipse itself uh, and then uh, typically uh, we can uh, uh, buy a dip at that point uh, and then uh, 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 sometimes it takes about a, a, a couple of weeks for it to shake out as a swing trade uh, but uh, uh, that's one way of taking advantage of this dynamic and we found that to be pretty reliable uh, over the years in, in applying that. Uh, so, so that's our overall expectation, at least, from this uh, solar eclipse. Again, that lunar eclipse coming up on November 8th, we'll have a lot to talk about. Maybe we can get together uh, a few days prior to that and, and see what that, that <laughs> it, looks it's like. It's on my book, my friend. <laughs> uh, all righty, very good. So, shall we shift gears for a moment and talk oh, about we're into the old Bitcoin <laughs> business. Boy, it sure had a lot of support at 19,000, hasn't it? It has. It's been a very interesting pattern here. And... Uh, it's interesting because I was had a conversation uh, day before yesterday uh, with uh, a trader that I've done some work with, and he he was very very uh, high on on Bitcoin, very bullish about it longer term. And uh, every time we get together, he's uh, he's always making comments about that. He said, "Look, I've I've just about given up on Bitcoin because it's starting to behave like the stock market." 
<laughs> I, said, I, I, I said, really? He said, yeah, I'm not, it, it, it's too calm. You know, it used to be oh, you get yeah. wild swings every day. <laughs> so I, I thought that was an interesting attitude, an interesting point of comparison. Uh, but with our Bitcoin uh, trading chart here, uh, we have been working some time here uh, with these planetary price lines uh, for our analysis uh, uh, using uh, the harmonic lines of uh, Venus, which are the green diagonal lines, uh, and uh, the trans-Neptunian uh, uh, factor uh, chronos, which are the uh, basically horizontal uh, purple lines there on, on the chart. Uh, so what we have are these harmonic projections of these planetary positions, and we found along the way that they help us define uh, support and resistance zones uh, for Bitcoin pretty e effectively. Uh, as you'll see over on the right there, uh, uh, yeah, that, that uh, we were looking at a support zone at uh, $19,370 uh, per Bitcoin. And uh, it's done a good job of tracking that. <laughs> uh, that that uh, support uh, has been very, very strong. Uh, actually, we've noted above that, uh, if we want to take the recent trading, uh, we've got uh, a current level of support a little bit below that at 18320 uh, So it's uh, you know, within, within a thousand bucks one way or the other, which is, is kind of slim for, for Bitcoin there. Uh, the resistance, uh, our, our next major Kronos level is up at 23870 uh, but currently we're seeing shorter term resistance uh, at the 20,400 uh, mark there. So uh, that's the trading range that we're working uh, in uh, with Bitcoin. One of the things that we want to remember with Bitcoin is uh, that we don't have a lot of trading history to, to build our, our back testing on. Uh, we've got about 10 years under our belts now of, of Bitcoin being traded actively uh, so we can begin to uh, work with some of the shorter term planetary cycles effectively. Uh, but if we start looking at things like uh, Jupiter and Saturn, uh, but they're, they're, they haven't even gone around once yet <laughs> uh, with this. It's still, yeah. still, still a baby kind of proposition. I noted here, actually, this was for yesterday. The trading price at that time was 19195 I think I checked a few minutes ago, it was about 19000 uh, 140 or thereabouts, so roughly the same kind of, of, of range uh, uh, in, in that uh, uh, that trading uh, dynamic. I think it's 19125, something like that, right now. So within, within that 19,000 mark, uh, and so here we're we're using this as just a, a broad indicator of the, of the action uh, with Bitcoin. Uh, and, and not trying to uh, you know, use that as a hard and fast uh, stop level in, in terms of that 19,370. Do you have any data astrologically that tells you that, yes, this is a valid asset? You know, because some people think it's a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, bubble? I don't think it's a bubble myself, but do you well, have Well, no, it's, it's not behaving like a bubble. You know, at, at, at first, yeah, certainly not. When, yeah. when it had some of the big run-ups, yeah, that was was something. But, you know, we look at this trading chart, and you can see a, a, a well-defined trading range, support and resistance, uh, and uh, especially when you establish something uh, with as much congestion as we've seen over the past few months here, uh, then uh, this is, it's not behaving like a bubble. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah. it's not astrological data, but technical data on, on that basis. Uh, you know, astrologically, uh, I, I think uh, it has a, a, a lot of promise. Uh, one of the things that's interesting, uh, I, I like to use the chart for the inception of, of it, uh, uh, based not not on on the beginning of, of uh, trading, but on the original uh, uh, white paper that proposed it back at the uh, end of October. Uh, in 2008. Uh, this came in just about six weeks after uh, the big financial collapse and uh, uh, Lehman Brothers going belly up. <laughs> and so, you know, the world financial markets were in crisis and Bitcoin, or at least the paper proposing it, uh, was almost a response to that. And here's an alternative, folks. Let's take a look at this. And uh, at that time, there was a, a, a Moon-Pluto conjunction uh, that was very, very powerful uh, with that. So, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in paying attention to those astrological dynamics, I think there's a lot there to sustain it long term. 
Oh, I know. Do you remember me calling you that day to tell you to load up? Do you remember that day? Uh, right, exactly. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh, right. Break, day. Break told me your the same time. Bangs, huh? You always <laughs> hear stuff like that. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, any, do you have any of uh, your great webinars coming up this weekend or this week? Anything uh, yeah, we, exciting? We, do. Yeah, we, we periodically do our free webinars. Uh, use this link to get access. You'll get on our list and, and get information about all of our webinars. Uh, we do have a, a webinar scheduled for Saturday specifically in-depth analysis of the solar eclipse uh, with a lot of proposed trades associated with that. Uh, there is a tuition fee for that, but we're uh, doing it as a special offer. You pay nothing up front. You pay only if you're satisfied after the fact. Uh, so wow. we like to do things for free, but this is the ne next best thing there. So that is, that's, a, that's fair enough. Yeah. If you're unhappy, you let us know and we won't, we won't run your payment. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, that, there, <laughs> hey, that likes, sounds like a good idea. So. Anyway, listen, thanks for joining us, buddy. And we're going to have you on sep on November. I have you down here for November the 6th, I think. Hold on just a second. Let me make sure I get no, no, November 3rd. November 3rd. November 3rd. November 3rd, November 3rd is what I'd like to have you. You got it. We'll have the. Hope to see you then, my friend. Take care. God bless you. Stay on the green side of the grass, my friend. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, the Treasury notes have hit 109.13. No fill yet. My order was sitting there at 109.13. You can see from the red box that I posted, the number was 109.12 and a half. So I shaded it by half a point. And I always use the old CIC order in case it doesn't work. That means cancel if close. That's a joke, boys and girls. I still have an order setting at 109.13. Now, this is a huge market. It might take an hour to get filled. I might be filled in two seconds. But my order is there, and I'm going to risk 10 pips from that point, which is 150 large dollars, U.S., American, green, in God we trust. And that's all you can do. You can't do any better than that. I don't know anything about the market. All I see is a pattern, 1.618 expansion on the market. has been down 17 weeks in a row, i.e., oversold by just a bit and the rally could take it up uh, five six points so you're probably looking at maybe a three thousand dollar profit if you get filled <laughs> or a potential loss of 150 that's 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 good odds that's like getting three three numbers on a lottery ticket that you haven't bought yet so also tomorrow i am not sure whether i'm going to be here or not it depends on whether i can get get your flight up to seattle to say goodbye to my good friend speedy eduardo and uh, I probably will be here because I just looked at the flights and they want $700 for a round trip ticket to Seattle. Seven and a half hours up there and eight and a half coming back. And I think I'll go maybe on Sunday. Anyway, uh, we'll take a look at it uh, a little bit later. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And odds are I'll probably be here tomorrow and go on the weekend. So take care of your neighbors, folks. It's a jungle out there. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. May God bless.